Hey guys, Trent here with Sonar Pros. We've got one of our favorite boats to rig every year because of how unique it is, and that is Taku Itu's boat, Fish of the Bassmaster Elite Series. This boat is really unique because it's got four live scopes and a 360 and six grass. So power management and our Sonar Pros wiring harness is a big aspect to this boat. You know, Taku and I every year kind of work back and forth and figure out what makes sense as far as his power demands um, and how he likes the boat laid out. And this year we kind of took a unique approach. So this year, Taku, for what I would say is the primary boat system, um, he's running two X2 AGMs in parallel. And those batteries are responsible for the boat and then his hummingbird units on this boat. Then he has a standalone 12 volt Dakota lithium that's getting used just for his Garmin setup, which is three 86 series and four live scope boxes. And then he's got twin 36 volt Dakota lithiums. Now, because of Taku being a smaller stature guy, um, we kind of realized that maybe having the dual X2s on the driver's side was probably gonna off center the boat with weight. So what we did was we actually flipped the 36 volt and the 12 volt system. So on his boat, we put the thir twin 3640s on the driver's side, his twin X2 AGMs on the passenger side, and then the big, um, I think 280 amp hour Dakota 12 volt, he's gonna be running um, over on the passenger side as well. Uh, this whole thing is powered by our Sonar Pro's wiring harness, and this boat, it's got two separate harnesses, one for the Garmin setup and one for the Hummingbird setup, which also has two switches. Uh, one, essentially, the switches let it switch back and forth between lithium control and AGM control. So it's actually got our standalone lithium kit where for his Garmin or Hummingbird system, he can tell it to run off the standalone lithium or run off the dual AGMs. So he's got a lot of redundancy in this boat. Um, from there, we've done a lot of the uh, rigging. Uh, Taku's very involved with the rigging process as well. Um, we go back and forth. You can see here on the harness, he's got a bunch of Japanese riding to convert the English to Japanese. Um, so it's a really fun boat to work on. Wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of the battery system because this is a really slick system. Um, we're still working on the boat, obviously, um, but it's gonna be a really, really cool setup for this year. Here at the console, he's got twin Solix 12s running for mapping, side scan. He's got a Garmin 8612, which is running two sneaky live scope transducers on the jack plate that we'll uh, withhold from the video because I know it's Taku's little secret. Um, going to the front, and all of this is on Boat Logics mounts. Um, Taku's ran Boat Logics mounts for the past few years. We work with David to kind of figure out what he's going to run for the year. Um, you can see we're still working on the rigging up here, but ultimately what's going to be up here is two Garmin 8616s and a Solix 12. Um, big thing, new Quest trolling motor, and then the bread and butter here. We've got the XR transducer in perspective, LV34 for forward, and a Mega360. So um, Taku really doesn't ever go fish shallow, so this is really set up for offshore fishing. Um, we got all the transducers as low as we can to keep them in the water, in big water. Um, it is definitely a setup. Um, what Ty is working on right here is the crazy part, which is there is four live scope train, four live scope boxes in that rod locker right there. So it's a it's a pretty cool boat, and we'll get some finished up pictures on it because it is. Uh, I think we're two days into rigging now, nonstop, with three people on it trying to get it buttoned up for Taco. <laughs> all right, guys, we got Taku here. This is boat number four. Yes, we've done or five. Yeah. Uh, four. Four? Yeah. yeah well, four. that one year Santee. Yes. Re rig yes, boat, yes, remember? Yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think this is the fourth boat we've rigged with Taku. Mm -hmm. um, we've been working together for a few years now, and uh, your boat's kind of crazy, Taku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use a big graph 216 and the 216 Garmin and the 4, 412. So Hummingbird and Garmin. So a lot of. Uh, uh, fish finder, but uh, I always use uh, Sonar Pro harness, so it's so incredible things so because uh, many I use a uh, many graph, many live scope, but always so voltage is high, so it's very very clean. I can see that. So my favorite things that so Sonar Pro harness. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like I said, Taku. I mean, this is second. I think this is the second year he's done a mm -hmm. six graph system. I mean, it's. The 86 series with Garmin's pull a lot of power. Yeah. Um, he's got a, we overviewed it earlier, really crazy power management system back here. But 
ultimately, you know, he sees the clearest pictures running all these um, transducers and units and then never really ha never has battery issues and that's the yeah. big thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, and too many lights go. <laughs> yeah, I always four or sometimes five. It's pretty crazy. Crazy. Yeah, but Sona Pro always the best. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate it, Taku. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much.